You can watch the breakdown of this animation on our Instagram page at the red CRNT designers. Link is in the description. To make the teapot, you need to add the cylinder, then go to the edit mode, select the stop words and move them along the Z axis, then control B, add the bevel, add there. Then select these bottom words and then extrude them along the Z axis, then add one loop cut, add there and then press Alt S to scale it along its normal and then control B, add bevel, add there. Then you need to add one loop cut, at here and then press Alt S to scale it along its normal. After that, you need to select these edge loops and use the set flow at there to maintain the good edge flow. Then you can add one loop cut at here and then press Alt S to scale it along its normal. Here I want to create a little bit of border at there. You can add this kind of loop cut and you can create that border edge. Now just select this bottom face and then press I for the insert operation. Create decent looking form at the bottom side. Then you need to add one more cylinder with the 8 words to create the nozzle part of this teapot. After that you need to select these two objects and you need to use the boolean operation which is union. Then apply the boolean modifier and delete the cutter object. Now you need to select these words and you need to merge these words together to maintain the good topology. Then select everything and then press M and merge by distance. So double words will get merged. Then you need to use the knife tool and you need to create the loop structure around the cylindrical boolean to maintain its form. Now just select everything and then take the symmetry along the Y axis. Then you need to select these words and you need to extrude these words. You need to use the simple transform tools here to create that nozzle part. Here you need to spend a little bit of more time to get the good form. You can use the reference images also. So just extrude it, rotate it and move it. And create that decent looking nozzle part. Now just add the subd modifier on the model and increase the subd count up to 2. Then select the stop face and then scale it. Then extrude it along the z axis. Select this edge loop, add a bevel add there. Then select the stop face, then scale it little bit along the x and y axis. And just create that neck border add there. So you can add the loop cuts and you can press Alt S to scale them along the normal. Then select this face and then delete this face. Then add few more supporting loop cuts to maintain the good form. And now you can see the model looks really well. Now we need to create the inner part of the model. You can turn on your extra mode, select these faces with the cross selection. Then Shift D to duplicate it and then press Alt S to scale them along their normal. You need to select these edge loops and you need to use the right click breach edge loop to fill the gap in this way. Then you can add the support to loop cuts like this. Then you can select this bottom face and you can use the grid fill at here. Same kind of thing you can do at the bottom side also. Use grid fill for corpus topology. We are getting the little bit of weird shading because of the wrong face orientation. So that's why select everything and then press Alt N and recalculate the normal. And now we are getting that smooth shading on the model that looks really well. Now just select this top face loop and then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make a different object. So just select this face loop and then E to extrude it and move it along the Z axis and then scale it along the X and Y axis and then control B add bevel add there. And create a dome kind of form. I want to create the lid of this teapot. Then you can select these all faces and you can extrude them along their normal. To add the little bit of thickness to this lid. Add few more supporting loop cuts to maintain the good form. And now you can see that's look good. Now just you need to add one more UV sphere at there. Give the right scale and right position to it. It is the holding part of that lead. And shade smooth it. That looks really well. Now we want to create the handle for this teapot. So I can select these faces and then shift D to duplicate it and then press P for the selection to make a different object. And then E to extrude these edges along the Z axis. And just create a little bit of form at there by extruding and moving them. Then select everything and then extrude them along their normal to add the little bit of thickness and just give the right position to these words. Then you can add the mirror modifier and take the symmetry along the X axis. Now you need to add one more cylinder with the 16 words to create the handle part that holding part. Give the right scale and right position to it. And now just you need to adjust the position of the words little bit to fix it properly. Now that's look good, just add few more loop cuts on the cylindrical parts and create a little bit of design add there. So you can use the bevel tool, insert tool and extrude tool for that. And create a little bit of decent looking design. Then select everything, mesh and then symmetry, take the symmetry along the x-axis. And then you can add the sub-d modifier on the cylindrical part. That looks really well. You can select the corner edges of the plates and you can add the bevel add there. You can create the rounded form add there. Same thing you need to do add here also. Then just give the right position to this words little bit and try to make a good looking form. Then select these words right click connect to vertex path and here you need to create the right corvus topology.
then select this edge loops and then control B add bevel at there. Now the teapot looks really well. Now just I need to add few bolts at there to fix them to add more details. I am using my nuts and bolts volume 1 hard surface grid bash. You can get this on our gumroad store. And that's it just check the face orientation. If the face orientation is wrong then go to the edit mode select everything and then press alt n to recalculate the normal. And now you can see your teapot it's ready. Within a 5 minutes we have created this teapot. If you want to have a cup of tea and you want to make it in a 5 minutes then you can use this teapot to make it and then enjoy it. So that's it for today thanks for watching if you like this tutorial then hit that like button and subscribe to our channel bye bye so next video take care.